get all out of your system. It's a new year coming up. Get all that out. Purge out all the old leaven. That's leaven is yeast. And you put leaven in bread to make it what? Rise. So don't allow this wickedness that you've been allowing to rise up in. You've got to get rid of it. Purge it out. That's most I do a purging during this time too. We look at it. Where they at? Where they at? Next thing you know, poof. They are, they not around anymore. So we got to purge out, therefore, that old leaven that you may be a new lump. You may be new, renewed. Read. Really? Uh, 1 Corinthians 5 and 17. Or 7. 7. Purge out, therefore, the old leaven that you may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Mashiach, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. See, there it is. For even Mashiach, our, it's a personal, it was us pronoun showing ownership. Our Passover is sacrificed for us. For the children of Israel. For the tribes of Israel. 1 Peter 1 and 19. First Peter 1 and 19. But with the precious blood of Mashiach, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was <coughs> ordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. There it is, man. I'm saying, but with the precious blood of a Mashiach, the whole shot. As of a lamb without blemish. That's that lamb. When we were in the wilderness, and the Most High gave us the laws and gave us the Passover, that lamb had to be without blemish in the first year and without spot. I mean, he didn't sin, and he had to he had to come and be as such. Who really was ordained before. The foundation of the world. But was manifest in these last times for you. Me? Verse 21. Who by him do believe in the Most High, that raised him up from the dead, and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in the Most High. Right. The Most High raised him up on the third day. Not on the second day. <laughs> As the world pretends he died on the yesterday and rose two days later to be tomorrow it was the first day of the week come on you raised him up on the third day from the dead and gave him glory me sing verse 22 no verse oh, the verse last part of 21 who by him do believe in the Most High, that raised him up from the dead, and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in the Most High. Right. Gave him glory that our faith and hope might be in the Most High. We might believe in the Most High and continue to believe in the Most High through faith that is in the Mashiach that was shot. We may believe in the Most High. Me? Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth. So, how do you purify your soul? By obeying the law of the Most High, which is the truth. Psalms 119, 142, all day long. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So, you purify your spirit by obeying the laws of the Most High. Read. Uh, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth, through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Yeah, that's what it's all about, man. Still coming back to what? How we gotta care for each other. All this, this most high about the division, much like I'm shy and divided. He wants to come together. Um, read verse 18. 1 Peter 1 and 18. 
For as much as you know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold. So it ain't about no money. We weren't redeemed because we had money. People think, oh, they, they, some people think gain is, is righteousness. You know what I mean? We weren't redeemed by no gold or no silver, no money. Read. From your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Yeah, man, from your vain, said from your worthless conversation. Things you said, it don't mean nothing. That you receive from the tradition of your fathers, our forefathers, that followed the way of who? The Gentiles, the heathen. And here we are now, coming out of that, to see the glorious glory of the Most High. And the Messiah Get Psalms 22 16. Psalms 22 16. Psalms, Psalms 22 and 16. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. So that happened to David? That happened to King David? No. He said, For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. And y'all look up, look up, look up on the, right there, it's the Unger's Bible Dictionary. That's underneath, that's at the bottom of, or no, it's at the end of the, end of the dust. Look up dogs, it's, I think it's a blue, it says Unger's Bible Dictionary, it's right at the bottom. It's thick, yeah. Is that the Unger's, is that it? This one? Yeah. Dog. Mm -hmm. Let me see it. I want to. I want to read it. I, I quote it, but I want to. It's a certain part I want to read out of that. Let me see it. Cause it say, "For dogs have compassed me." So we call them dogs. The ones compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. So he ain't saying nobody the righteous did this. He say, "The assembly of the wicked." In Job nine twenty four says. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He, the wicked, cover the faces of the judges thereof, if not where who is it? And I look in these Bibles, it's all pictures of Caucasians. Eat them. So you you, you see there's a certain certain part I want to read out of it. I don't know if it's highlighted. Is it highlighted in there? You look uh, up dogs? Let me see it, because I, I know which part of what you want I want to read, because it says, For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked. I quote it all the time, but this is the Unger's Bible Dictionary. I'm going to quote it so long, and so many years that I know it by heart, but I'm going to read it to you. Read that again. Psalms 22 and 16. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierce my hands and my feet. Right. So this is dog from the Unger's Bible Dictionary. It says dog. It says those, I'm just going to get right to the point, those who are shut out of the kingdom of heaven are also called dogs. Revelation 22, 15. On a, account of their vileness, probably a reference to homosexuality. <laughs> probably a reference to homosexuality. Now where we at? This spiritual Egypt and Sodom. Get that first. Uh, spiritual? Yeah. Revelation. Revelation 11 and 8. Read that. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. This is Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street, read. Of the great city. Talk about America, read. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. See? America's called spiritually Sodom 
because they're promoting homosexuality and all this, more so than anywhere else. Not like America. This spiritually called Sodom and Egypt because it's the captivity of the 12 tribes of Israel right here. Read. Where also our power was crucified. Can't say, you can't, you, you can't deny that. How you gonna say this true? And people believe that this is him. All over America. Especially our people. So, read Psalms 22, 16 again. Psalms 22 and 16. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet. Right. Look at uh, St. John 19 and 37. Uh, St. John 1937 and again another scripture said they shall look on him whom they pierced right but another scripture said they're going to look on him whom they have pierced Look at uh, Zechariah 12 and 10. Zechariah 12 and 10. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. Now they pierced the Most High? They pierced Zechariah? No. This is prophecy of a Mashiach Yom Shai, read. And they, shall, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. That's right, man. Hmm. You can hear him crying. Can you imagine that? He hadn't done any 